PCI DSS 4.0's 2.2.2 requirement says vendor default accounts are managed as follows. If the vendor default accounts will be used, the default password is changed per requirement 8.3.6. If the vendor default accounts will not be used, the account is removed or disabled. These are pretty specific directions on how to handle default accounts on your system components. So these are the accounts that might be admin or root. They were present when you first set up the device. In most cases, you're going to create individually assigned accounts to manage that device, or you're going to connect them to some sort of directory service. But that default account may still be present on the, the, the device. When that's the case, you want to make sure you change the password to one that is complex and meets the requirements of 8.3.6. I like to advise my clients to go ahead and go well beyond your typical password requirements for those vendor default accounts and make them as long and as complicated and as random as possible. But if you're not going to need that default account, and you really have to ask yourself, if we're always going to manage this device using individually named accounts, do we even need the default account enabled? If you don't need to keep it enabled, you can go ahead and remove it or disable it. Thank you.